Okay, all right, everybody. Fearless Friday, 2024. I want to wish my son a happy birthday. Both my sons, I meant both their, both their birthdays uh, due to uh, scorn mothers, but we can't do anything about that. So right now, I'm directly in front of the same police department. I went and got the protective order for the pedophile. All right, if you follow my pages, uh, eight, uh, 24 and Z25, okay? Those are the audios that you guys hear with my son talking about the pedophile, his, him knowing about uh, Angela Morehouse talking about the, uh, the knife situation. But the most important thing, if you go on the YouTube channel, A3, apologies, A3, it's 29 minutes, five seconds. It's a protective order for the pedophile. You can clearly hear in there, Angela Morehouse say that my children told her nothing she didn't hear anything my children said about uh, uh, the pedophile, which is another lie. All right, they instructed me to uh, take down my social media. They didn't put these in the courthouse. All right, it's not happening. At the end of the day, what is going on right now, they're trying to protect this lawyer. It makes them look bad. It makes the entire courthouse look bad. So at the end of the day, they're gonna do whatever it takes to keep this thing quiet. And again, you listen to A24, I'm sorry, Z24, Z25, her only witnesses that have helped her case are scorned women. This is my ex, my ex-friend, Arisa Cooper, all right? This person lied on myself and my children, which is on A20, Z24 and Z25, and I was locked up for nine months for something that I didn't do. These are her scorned witnesses. Please continue to follow this story at the end of the day. Everything is going to be exposed, but it's already there on social media. That's why I want me to take it down. Thank you, guys. And listen to the end also for the audio and the video when I came to originally get this protective order. Thank you again. God bless. Okay, guys. The biggest takeaway from this episode, if you listen to the uh, audio of my children speaking, and also you read the document attached, Angela Morehouse's signature, you can clearly hear and see, I've never told my children anything about me going to jail. The entire conversation, for any entity that receives emails from me, I have the entire conversation. My children at no time heard, they didn't hear me say anything about me going to jail. Uh, the biggest takeaway from this, to everyone who's following this and continues to follow and share, why? Why is this lawyer lying on myself and my children you guys got that one the rest of it's in the social media that is the reason why there can nothing nothing negative can be said about the household where my children reside there can never be anything negative about it uh next thing attached to this are pictures of the attorneys the lawyers who we've i've paid my mom family we've paid no one said anything against angela morehouse the judges, as you guys can see in the social media, nothing. She walks in that courtroom and she gets whatever she wants. This is the purpose because most of those judges themselves were at some point in time a guardian at lighting. Take away this again, guys. Why? Why is she lying on me and my children? This will bring you full circle to what I have coming up next. She's not just lying about my, me and my children. She's lying on other people as well. Please watch the video attached at the end. That's me getting a protective order to protect my babies. And if you guys go to A3, you can clearly hear Angela Morehouse lying again in court on myself and my children to get the protective order for the pedophile thrown out. Please continue to follow the story. Thank you guys. Happy Fearless Friday. No matter what, if you're right, keep fighting. Fight. Thank you.
I made the report there. I made the report to you guys. When that happened? Mm -hmm. Okay. I just and can't just, see the old house stuff because. Yeah, yeah that's fine. And just like this address. situation, the mom. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. If you go to that channel, there's another situation there with a video with Mr. Broxton in there. Is that. Who's Mr. Broxton? You have to watch it. I okay. got it on video. And I, the, the babies at that time didn't know I was videoing them. Mm -hmm. Can I ask you a question, mm -hmm. Sergeant? Uh, officer? Oh, I'm just a regular officer. So, um, you said that what happened with him choking them? Choking the mom? Choking the mom. Yeah. Did he choke them? He did not choke them. Okay. But they, they witnessed that. Mm -hmm. And uh, my son, he was afraid to tell whoever about what happened during that time. Mm -hmm. He had to get a knife. And in doing so... That will be included in the DSS and the report yes. okay. that that happened. I just can't yeah. charge him yeah, unless yeah, she yeah. wants to be a victim yeah, even yeah, then yeah. it's been a while. That this. will be included. Yeah, my thing is this. You told someone about it. Mm -hmm. When did... You tell somebody about that one. Is it recently or a while ago? It wasn't a while ago. It was recently, but it was it was it was like in January. You told somebody in January. Yeah, January or something. Yeah. Who'd you tell? Miss mm, Morehouse, remember? She a teacher? No, she stopped at Angela Morehouse. She's not a doctor. Um. It's okay, son. You know. Who is this? She's a court appointed lawyer. But he told her, and they both said, I, I had her on the court. Is that your custody lawyer? She is not my custody lawyer. Okay. What was that? She's a court appointed lawyer. For what? For the children. Okay. But they both told her what happened. Because if you hear her now, they're afraid to tell the mom. Mm -hmm. See? So they're going to possibly get in trouble by going back to that home tonight. Mm -hmm. But I told them if they want to put their hands on them, there's a police officer. Where's he live next door? No, he lives on the English street. Okay. You got my number. You call 911. They want to put their hands on you. That's what this is for. Mm -hmm. Okay? If anyone touches you, you call your dad. You call 911. So somebody can come help you guys. Okay. So I'm going to give you guys a second and talk to each other. I'm going to step out. I'm going to talk to my boss. See what we can do. Um, it's tricky because she has custody and we don't get involved in custody. I things. totally get it. I totally get it. My only question to you is this. Do you believe these babies? Of course. Thank you. Yeah. You give me no reason not to. Absolutely. The other people have to prove for, right. to me that they're lying or... And like I always tell them, tell the truth. Yeah. Good job, guys. And if you guys... Always tell us the truth, then we believe you more and more and more and Absolutely. more and more. Okay? The more you tell the truth, the more everybody tells you. Especially if someone tells you to lie. Especially until mm -hmm. you don't tell the truth. That's when you tell the truth. Yeah. Because that means it's bad. If a grown-up is telling you not to tell somebody, it's because they're going to get in trouble. You hear that? You hear that? You heard what you just said? If someone tells you not to tell the truth, that means they're going to get in trouble. Mm-hmm. Because they don't want you to get them in trouble. So we're not protecting other people from getting Absolutely. in trouble. You just protect you. Absolutely. Okay? Absolutely. And you can protect your sister. Okay? And if you if mom are fighting in the house, don't get involved. Call 911. Run down to your neighbor who's a Absolutely. police officer's house and tell them, okay? Or any neighbor. You don't just don't stay. You don't a have to stay. A neighbor that you, yeah. you trust. Yep. Okay? Do you have friends in the neighborhood? Okay. Okay. It's hot okay, I'm gonna be right back. You guys can family discuss for a little bit. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you're not gonna be able to get back in, but just knock and they can let you in. Okay. Thank you. You guys are.